What is up guys? Welcome to the core coding course. In this course, we're going to teach you the basics of writing computer code. Now there are many different types of coding language. So which language are we talking about? Well, we're not looking at a specific language in this course. Although there are many different coding languages, we find that they all share a common set of features. And if you have an idea of how to implement these features in one language, you'll already have a very good idea of how to implement that same feature in a second language. The only difference is something we refer to as syntax. In other words, how the language is written. So there will be a slightly different way of implementing a certain feature, depending on the language or syntax we're using. But if you're familiar with one language, the second language will come very easily. So in this course, you're going to learn the basic components of writing code in any language. Just to give you an example of the types of features that almost every coding language supports, at least what's known as a Turing complete coding language. We have variables, functions, math operations, manipulating strings, if else statements, while and for loops, arrays, objects, classes, and something we'll refer to as modules. Now the name of some of these features may change slightly depending on the language in question, but you'll notice if you're familiar with those features from one language, that it's actually the same feature appearing in a second language. And many of these features just keep the same name regardless of the language. Take something like variables, for example, they're generally called variables in every programming language. Now, of course, we have to make use of a certain programming language to teach these concepts. So we will make specific use of JavaScript in this course, but this is not intended to be a course on JavaScript. We will also look at some other languages such as PHP and Python, just to see how these features are implemented in other languages. But the key idea behind this course is not learning JavaScript, but learning how to write code and how to think about code in general. Okay, so with that in mind, who is this course for? Well, it's for those who are looking to learn the basics of writing code without committing to a specific language. Perhaps you're not sure which language you want to learn at this stage, but you do know you want to learn a programming language. This is going to be an excellent starting point this is also going to be an excellent preparation course for then going on to learn a specific language in detail. So if you take this course, then decide afterwards you want to go and learn PHP or C++, for example, many of the elements that you've learned in this course will be very useful for helping you understand the features of whichever language you go on to learn. So what will we need in order to take this course? Well, it's very simple. We just need a code editor and I recommend Visual Studio Code. You'll see why I recommend this particular editor in the next part of the course. And we'll have a look at how we can set this up and configure it so that we have an environment to write our code in. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video. Look forward to catching you in the core coding course.